<laughs> uh, at this point, I don't know how to give you this introduction because... Ah, uh, they just go on and on and on. on. This fear mongering three hoggers, three fuckers, or whatever you could call them, because Jesus Christ, they want to destroy every single way of living and control the people. Only, only to I at this point I don't know wh what else what they want if only because they say yeah let's go save the planet. And of, and of course, they are the ones populating more with contamination, with destruction. This all is with their private jets and their yachts. All white, the lower uh, dude, the average Joe, it gets fucked. And the government is with the leads. At this point, What else I need to tell you other than starting with this headline? Mamma mia! New York City rules crap down on coal. Wood fired pizzerias must cut carbon emissions up to 75%. You know what this means with this 75%? Yeah, you know what? Just stop breathing. You know what? Breathing. You can you generate carbon. By breathing, just stop breathing to save the planet. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and would fight it. Oh my God! Let's just co go with this article. Mamma mia! Story: Big Apple Pizza joints could be forced to dish out months of duck under a proposed city edict targeting pol pollutant spewing coal and wood fired ovens. Yeah, you New York City, you pollute more shit other than this. So the the reason why you are cracking down on this only because it's easy for you. It's just m making you look more stupid than you are to the rest of the world. The Post has learned. New York City Department of Environmental Protection has drafted new rules that will order Eateries using the decades old baking method, if not centuries, because yeah, these the wood wood fired ovens they are just for yeah, it's it's always has been there for decades. So the the reason you're talking, um, they are just stupid, and at this point. Yeah, this is not only entirely fault. Well, they are from the government, but the fault, the fault is in the New York City citizens too. New Yorkers are more are the most dumbest persons I ever heard in my entire life. How the fuck do you decide or you even vote to say, yeah, we wa I want to set the planet, I want to feel good with myself and destroy. Not only the lives of others who have been working for a many long time, you are going to end your life yourself by this, by doing this. Seriously, what's wrong with you? All New Yorkers deserve to breathe healthy air and wood and cold fire storms are among the largest contributors of harmful pollutants in neighborhoods with poor air quality. Translation. You, you peasant, you are the one who needs to be erased from existence. Oh, me, while I'm in my private jet, my Bugatti, my private jet, and eating me while you're just eating bugs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my dear Lord. Ah, uh, I cannot stand this. DAP spokesman Ted Timbers. Yeah, you know what? Don't count this motherfucker. He deserved it. Said in a statement Sunday. This common sense rule, press X to DAP, developed with restaurant and environmental justice groups, press X to DAP, requires a professional review of where installing emission control is feasible. 
at this point you are just making shit up only to just confuse everyone else and approve this damage in law. The rule could require pixel areas with such a ovens installed prior to May 2026 to buy pricey emission control device. Wait a minute! To buy pricey emission control device. Oh, you know what this is? It's just so. Uh, yeah, I know you have been using a method where you don't require gas and you are not using your gas bill. And um, well, you know what? I'm going to force the government to crack down on you, destroy your way of living, only to buy my stuff and use it and pay the triple of what it used to cost you. Jesus Christ! Motherfuckers! Suck of shit! <laughs> Um, uh, U.S. is collapsing by this stupidity, and what I hate the most is that they are forcing every this bullshit on every single country that is far left just at this point, who are in the indoctrinated far left that they these motherfuckers enforcing to the rest of the world. Yeah, because I know you you force the media to. Yeah, you know what? If you you go to the left, you. <laughs> You are just tricking everyone to fall on a cliff. But seriously, this is just stupid. <laughs> With the owner on one group in John saying he's already tossed $20,000 on an air filter system in anticipation of the new mandate. Not only they want to crowd that on wood fired ovens, which honestly I really enjoy being near one of those. When you smell the wood fired out and oven some good shit, and is and they want to claim that's polluting the air, that's so contaminating. Yeah, coil is more. I prefer wood over coil. And now, you say, yeah, you, we are going to have to cut down on this, and we are going to force you to pay for the solution. This is the snake oil salesman. This is a snake oil salesman. You are saying, yeah, I, we, I, there is a problem, the government and, and themselves, the big elites created. Um, we are going to sell you the solution because, yeah, it works. Why? Don't ask questions, just consume products. Ah, oh, shit. Oh yeah, it's a big expense. Says Paul Giannone, the owner of Polygids in Greenpoint. Oh, poor Italian guy. <laughs> Why are you racist against Italians? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's not just the expense of having it installed, it's the maintenance. I got to pay somebody to do it. I got to up there every couple of weeks and hose it down and you know to do the maintenance. And that's expensive too. And the way how they are designing, designing these systems is just to be as just plan obsolete as possible and then buy it again. Buy it again and buy it again. All while they are producing this shit. Now you are just ending the planet because you are wasting resources on some bullshit. Seriously, go fuck yourself, but at this point, yeah, New Yorkers, you bought it for this. You are going to deserve everything you get from this. Your stupidity, it's enough. You are going to face the consequence of your own actions by yourselves. Yanone yeah, added that while the air filter is expensive and is a huge hassle, it is, it also has some upsides. My neighbors are much happier. I had a guy coming in for this complaining that the smoke was, you know, going right into his apartment. I haven't seen him since I got the scrub installed. Yeah, it's the same people with bullshit. And yeah. <sighs> it's New Yorkers. They're just stupid.
Oh, this is because they are just near my apartment. I gotta have to. I have to ask a, a question to New Yorkers. Why you overdesign your city in a very cramped state where you are just living in just mousetraps? It was part of the 2030 agenda. The 15 minute series. And of course your fucking shithole is not a 15 minute city. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Other iconic pizza joints facing the heat including Lombardi's in Little Italy, Arturo's in Soho, John's of Beckler Street in Greenwich Village, Patsy in Turtle Bay, and Upper West Side and Green Maldi near the Brooklyn Bridge. That pride themselves on having their pies baked in coal and wood fired ovens. A city official said that under 100 restaurants total will be impacted. One pizza restaurator, sorry, restaurator who requested an anonymously told the post that sensitive negotiations are currently taking place with the DAP officials on where the to grandfather in orange sent the dozens of coal and wood open private pizza joints from the mandate. There, there, sh there is no room for negotiation. Just stop this bullshit. Stop it. He said politicians and bureaucrats should stop messing with their crust. This is an unfunded mandate and I'm going to cause those un unfortunate not to mention ruining the taste of the pizza totally destroying the product. The restaurateur who has a cold fired armor fume. Yeah, New Yorkers, just destroying the life of hard workers people because uh, you want to feel good for yourselves over the idea of saving the planet, considering the shit called your living. If you fuck around with the temperature in the oven, you change the test. That's true. That's absolutely true. Even I myself, I screw up uh, sometimes when I cook. That pie, that chimney, is that size to create the perfect updraft. Keeps the temp perfect. It's an art as much as science. That's true, it's food, yeah, gastronomy, it's true. You take away the chair, the thing that makes the pizza taste great, you kill it, he claimed. I absolutely agree, I absolutely agree. It's not the same cooking a pizza in one of those ovens compared to one of the gas stoves, seriously. Or an electric one even. The taste... Sometimes it's not awful, but sure as hell is not as good as one from wood fired oven. And for what? You really think you are changing the environment with these eight or nine pizza ovens? The restaurant added. Ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that dude has common sense. Yeah, just like I said, these motherfuckers just want just want to feel good about themselves because there's nothing better in their lives than destroying everyone else only to save the planet and that was in quotes saving the planet <laughs> considering how the shit they are doing ah oh, jesus christ so yeah some crusty customers also told city officials not to tamper with their slice i'm on responsible environmental practice but to tell al gore to take one less private jet or something yeah these dudes get it give me a break said brooklyn heights resident savi sharma 32, a financier who broke her parents and cousin visiting from India for the first slice at Grimaldi's, referring to the former vice president and climate change activist. I've been bragging about this pizza to my family for like five years, Sharma said Sunday. Don't mess with this. Giannone of Pauli's Yeast said that despite assertions to the contrary, the air scrubbers will not affect the quality of the taste or textures of the pies. Uh, press X to that because... That shit, even I have one of those in my stove, gas stove. Um, damn, that shit doesn't work. <laughs> then uh, the older one we used to have used to do something. It actually took away the, the whole smoke 
gener generated when cook when I was cooking meat and my mother too. Uh, now the new one we bought because some fucking retard decided to destroy it when we did some remodelation in the kitchen. When we bought the new one, it doesn't work. It actually melt melted itself. Part of it melted itself. It doesn't work. Yeah, you are just making shit up. I already said it. I don't want to repeat it again. If someone is trying to say that putting the scrubber in changed the flavor of the pizza, they are just trying to save themselves $20,000. No, it doesn't affect what's going inside the oven, he said. I don't know, I, I, I really doubt you, bro. No, it hasn't changed the test. It has changed the pizza. It, has changed our, it hasn't changed our product at all. Uh, no. Considering how my gas stop works, uh, the way how this shit could work too. Even if you put it inside the oven, and at least it's, it's separated enough, the thing is that shit retains some of the pollution and it got upside down. Yeah, the, it goes down and then it actually affects the food. Or even the air you are surrounded and it doesn't properly work. That's the thing. So I going to end this article is just some run 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 of, of course of these dudes these pizza pizza makers and the New York City just hey if you want to set the planet stop breathing mentality that's pretty much everything I hope you have a pretty good day.